absolutely magnificent material from the <coughs> Kakanda deposit in the Katanga. Now, I've seen on, on some platforms these guys are being advertised as Kolwezi. Uh, what we have is a matrix uh, uh, compromising of predominantly cobalt and calcite or cobalt and dolomite. Perched on that over here, we'd have some kolwezite, uh, rare copper silicate, named after the Kolwezi mining district in the Katanga, a force totally crystalline. Perched on top of that would be little waxy black botroids of heterogenite. Also, <coughs> often associated on these sections would be quartz crystals, as you see there. And also often associated would be malachite. Now let's see if I can find some malachite. Uh, another interesting aspect, you'll have this section of malachite for instance. Now I'm going to angle it so you can see this would be a pseudomorph of malachite after azurite. Just to be, uh, just for the sake of ease, we say malachite after azurite, which is, so it's, it's almost a block-like form. Um, which, which uh, uh, from any other locality in, in southern Africa, we'd be thinking in terms of the... Well, if you think of Tsumeb, it looks very much like the Tsumeb malachite of the Azurat. The structure is solid all around and could almost call this a floater. Also interesting, on the cross sections, as you see there, you can actually see the pink running right deep into the crystal. There, of course, you have that Kolwezat. So, uh, when you encounter the still picture, take a little bit of time to zoom in and actually have a look at the definition on these guys. Quite, quite amazing. And most of them, from, from Kakanda, are floaters. Lots of fun with these, with these specimens. And sort of mild shades of color, Kolwezat, often malachite, associated too.